What's up guys, my name is Mike and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a smoke bomb out of these. What is that? It's a ping pong ladies and gentlemen. Those are ping pong balls. So, we're going to be making those um, catch on fire. Set fire to the ring. So as I said, we're going to be making these turn into a smoke bomb. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make two out of two. So, okay, let's start by, uh, the first thing you want to do is cut them both in half. So, let's take this one, make a hole in it, like so, and start cutting away. We're going to be using the method that I'm showing you right now, which is cutting it like paper. So, ow. You might have seen my 2013 version, which is a little bit older. So I'll be showing you the new and improved 2014 smoke bomb tutorial. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, this is not perfect at all, but I do have two halves. Then what I'm gonna do is do the same to the other one. Let's skip the video if you don't wanna watch me cut these. I'm gonna use this method to show you that it works as well. It's a little more effective. So just keep cutting them. You can even just tear this one like this. Perfect. Okay, so we have our four pieces right here. They're not perfect, as you can see. Just gonna clean up so that no one gets mad. Okay. So, the next thing you want to do is take your foil. But before you do that, you want to cut four pieces of uh, this kind of paper. So what I mean by four pieces is like this. One, this is normal uh, table paper. Two, three, and four. Make sure they're not too thick nor not too long. Okay, make four small circular balls out of them. Everything is circular when making a smoke bomb. All right, three and four. Okay, now what you wanna do is take your ping pong ball, I mean half of it, put a piece of paper, and then take the second half and put a piece of paper, and then take another one, and then put a piece of paper, and then put this one, and then at the end also put a piece of paper. So you should have, for example, bread, bread, lettuce, bread, lettuce, something like this, basically. All right, once you've done that, gently set it down on its face. Actually, that's not gonna work, so what I'm gonna do is just try to balance them. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Now uh, you wanna take your foil, and break it to about this length, so two hands, two hands wide, basically. So you take your pieces, make sure they're as I said. There we go, so it looks kind of like this. Flip it over on its face. There we go. So it should look something like this. Then what you do is you take your foil and kind of put the ball inside, take your pencil and start wrapping the foil around the pencil. I'll show you in a second how this looks at the end. So tight. Alright, so look, it sh nothing has to be perfect here, that's the beauty. As you can see, this is how it should look, it should look like I don't know, a bell, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so then what you want to do is you take your lighter, light it up, and you want to kind of light it up right here. So I'll take it outside and show you guys. So as you could see, I have a candle here, and I have my smoke bomb. Remember, some hazards do not breathe this. This plastic is toxic. And no, you will not get orange color from an orange ping pong ball. That's solely just colored. 
it's color, it's not actual composition that'll cause it to be orange. Alright, so, as you can see, this is my candle, and yeah, what you want to do once again is light it up right here, so on the edge, and then just move away from it. So on the edge, and it'll just nicely light. Don't breathe it. Alright, and I hope this worked for you, and I hope this video was simple. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. There you go. Don't breathe it. And it's not working.